The holidays are a time to feel and create joy. And what could be more joyous than the look on her face as she unwraps a stunning new jewelry piece from Blue Nile? How about getting 50% off your purchase? Blue Nile offers premium quality, priced below traditional retail. Their online experts are available 24-7 to answer any questions and make sure you've picked the perfect gift. For a limited time, you can get 50% off at BlueNile.com. That's 50% off at BlueNile.com. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Tired of ads crashing your comedy podcast party? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Just head to Amazon.com slash ad comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. Now then, you lot, we need your help. We need to make our piratical adventure simply the best D&D 5e podcast out there on the seven seas. So we've decided to be very brave indeed and launch our own Roll Britannia Patreon page. And don't you worry. Though we may be scoundrels and vagabonds in the Shattered Lands, we're certainly not going to be stealing your hard-earned booty to line our coffers. All of the money we raise will be ploughed right back into the show, so we can be the best that we can be. So what's in it for me, I hear you say? Well, there's a whole treasure chest worth to be had. There's exclusive Buccaneer prologues so that you can learn some of the secrets of our favourite heroes and where it all began. You'll also be able to read the finest tabloid on the high seas, the Daily Teledath. You can get your hands on ARC-exclusive merchandise too that you won't find in our shop. And the best part, your very own handcrafted, beautifully made and totally unique piece of crap art drawn just for you by your favourite buccaneer. Just look out for Roll Britannia on Patreon.com or even easier, follow the links in our social media or Linktree pages and let us navigate the way for you. And, worry not, the nautical antics of the Royal Britannia Buccaneers will still be available every Wednesday, as usual, absolutely free. After all, we certainly wouldn't want any of our amazing and loyal fans to be spending any more than they can afford. We wouldn't have got anywhere without you and all the other awesome fans out there. So, with your help and your support, you, yes, you, can make this show even better. Previously on Roll Britannia. Dispel Jeff's invisibility, please. So you smack him as hard as you can and he pops into existence. Ow! That's what you get for leaving me with a metal behemoth. He's trying to remodel the basement. All you do is turn invisible and run away. Ah, hello, boys. We must continue to chase the pieces of eight. I understand that you, Malus, have acquired a ship. Yes. Do you remember now the quest I gave you? That we had to take down at least one ship and then we had to join the boarding party? I need you to find the location. It should be transported in a cylinder, waterproof by its nature, in case of overboard. You should find it in a safe in the captain's office. Before we set off on this dangerous mission, we need to instigate some rules. Absolutely no invisibility if you're on board. It's just a friendly reminder. Mm -hmm. I'm the captain now. Mutiny will be severely punished. Malus, my boy, keep your course trained on the Teldar. Come alongside them, open up a broadside. I can swoop the Valkyrie back into the bottle. They won't know we're there. If we wanted to go particularly stealthy, I can actually make a few of us invisible. I like that. Look, there's a small flotilla of ships. You see, the Teldar raises a black flag. Incoming! Cannonball flies across the deck and strikes the poop deck. No. They're hitting us in the rear, guys. Destroy them, yeah, Malrus. Yeah. Fire the mortar, Cap. Fire it, Cap! As the ship is charging towards you at a rate of knots now, the entire front section dive Ooh. nose first into the briny deep. Well, that's the first bit done. I guess it's time to go board. All caught up? Good. Let's get back to the action.
Right then. So, last time we played, you were, uh, well, probably celebrating a mid-battle, having uh, completely destroyed this uh, Imperial ship that was charging towards you that seemed to be crewed by the worst gunners in the Empire. <laughs> um, and probably the worst uh, helmsman or captain in the Empire as well, because they uh, failed to mi- avoid any of your broadside shots and took absolutely no evasive action uh, when you fired anything, including a mortar at them. And there was uh, there was even the Wilhelm scream, and uh, <laughs> it was all very good. And you sank it as it sort of it's oh, well, it's as it was it. onto on collision course with you. It basically collapsed below the waves. It's, I love it's the idea that... and sank off, didn't it? We it did, yeah. It, it fell off. I love the idea that somewhere at the head of the sort of flotilla is a commanding officer going, we've sent our best men. <laughs> 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 this will stop so them. So did they. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so that was a thing. Uh, so let's jo- rejoin the action. Uh, the smoke of war is all around you, from cannon blasts aplenty. The sea is still relatively calm uh, in itself, but being churned by the violent movements and crashing cannonballs of sea naval warfare. Salesmen are everywhere, pulling their sails and... <laughs> Ah! Working um, on their sales quotas. There's one guy yes. that's just like spinning one of those signs, but it just says battle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Arrows on both ends because it's fucking yeah. everywhere. Uh, all the ships are in a dead straight line because, as we know, uh, straight lines win <laughs> battles. battles. No way. Yes, they do. <laughs> Tell Dad has now got balloons attached to the mast because balloons yep. also win battles. Every yeah. ship's figurehead is a crazy inflatable waving mm. arm now. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> In his sake, stop it! <laughs> no, um, <laughs> never. <laughs> okay, okay. Can one of the captains be called Al Harrington? Yes. Um, There's a sign on one of the sinking vessels that just says "One careful owner." <laughs> no, it just says "Hurts." It just says "Act now." <laughs> Snapped across the front. Uh, it's got one of those no smoking signs, even in all the windows. You know, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's never been a rental ship, honestly. <laughs> Oh. What were we doing? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Sorry, um, oh, is this mic on? Wow, we, that that went well, lads. Uh, anyone fancy a brew? Oh, I, I'm absolutely gassed. Oh wait, we've got to board a ship, haven't we? Shit, I thought that was. I thought we were done. This mission. Yeah, well you easy. see, all the other ships are currently engaged in naval warfare. Um, offers flying. Uh, sorry, cannonballs flying left <laughs> and right, <laughs> and offers counter offers. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me. <laughs> you enjoyed yeah. that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought we were done, and he just swings it back in there. <laughs> <sighs> oh, dear. Um... They're bartering hard, Captain. Right. Uh, you see... <laughs> You see the the largest of the ships currently engaged in a, uh, a skirmish with the uh, with the Teldath. You see the nameplates of this ship. You see the name of the realm's glory Ooh. painted towards the front of the ship, you know, in, in very fancy lettering. Uh, in gold, in fact. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, uh, you can see that cannons are firing off and they seem to be sort of encircling each other. Both of them landing relatively heavy blows, but because the armaments on these ships, they seem to be taking the, sh- the hits uh, in their stride. You can see the unsinkable uh, has taken quite a lot of hits. <laughs> it looks like Swiss cheese, but it's still afloat. Oh, wicked. That's good. Oh, is that still here? <laughs> it's Can unsinkable, Kev. I just, I just can't believe it. I mean, whoever named it was doing their job well. If you look, sitting just below the waterline there is the name of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, what are we doing, boys? I guess we should board the big ship, shouldn't should, we? Since we made quite light work of that, should we follow... T- now, Timbers technically said to us, didn't he, that we had to take out at least one ship. We could just go ham. I, I think we should let's get the mission done and then we can sort of flex afterwards if we need to yeah <laughs> there'll be enough killing for you dear boy oh it's them sea dogs again well the the dogs of war are going so we might as well board 
They've got dogs on that ship as well. They might as well call it the everything but the kitchen sink aboard. <laughs> Who let those I think slip? it'll probably be the last time they have dogs on board, though. I, I hear they're trying to get rid of those dogs quite quickly, so there probably won't be any more dogs after, say, I don't know, the next hour today, of us listening yeah. to each other. <laughs> Come on, we've got a battle today. You're sorry. Um, I'm a bit dazed. That last mortar really nearly hit us. Uh, yeah, a cannibal flies over and doesn't doesn't actually strike your your ship. It's sort of a a, 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 a rogue cannibal from someone else's battle. Just a reminder: you're in a war. <laughs> oh, that's Maris, why Captain, we're here. Captain, Maros Captain, Captain, trouble. Right. Maros gets shot. Right. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, Captain? You, you're ready for me now, are you? Okay, right. Come on, let's let's go board that big ship. Yeah. There's a cutaway to the audience and they just go, get on with it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but all we've been doing is filling the time that it's been taking Maros to pilot the ship closer enough so we can board. Yeah. We've just been trying to, like... Uh, oh, now we're here. Well done, Maurus. That was great. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, the Valkyrie pulls up alongside <laughs> the Realm's Glory. No, is that right next are you, to a ladder? Are you piloting towards... <laughs> It's like when your dad's looking in directions. Everyone must be quiet. Are you, manag- are you managing the ship towards it? The nods don't work. This is a podcast. I know. I was just waiting for the noise to stop. Okay. Uh, so, I think, yeah, we're we're alongside. He's in a battle. Excellent. News. And um, let's let's board. Cool. Oh. So you're alongside. Um, the, the, the nice thing is that um, you're sort of you've snuck up on the non cannony side of the ship because all the other nice. cannons are currently engaging the Teldath. So you're sort of sneaking in the tradesmen's entrance. Uh, so. Uh, <coughs> But uh, the Valkyrie is somewhat smaller than the realm's glory, so uh, you you pulled up alongside the sort of a sort of ladder that's built in to this ship, you know, um, in case someone falls overboard, they could clamber the back up, you know. Uh, so yeah. well, they're are big you, enough to you... have one of them, aren't they? We don't. Well, they are. Yes. Um, does <clears throat> Does anybody have a copy of the ship stats and stuff to hand? Jeff, bring that manual over here. <laughs> Sorry, I just dropped it down here. I've got to fish it He's out. You've got the owner's handbook. There's a load of dead fish down here. It's rank. <laughs> Thank you for purchasing. It's in the gauntlet box. It's like two class warship. Look in the gauntlet box. Yeah, except it actually has it in goblin first, and then it has it in elvish. And then it... <laughs> has it got like two pages in common then? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's uh, clearly a translation from one of the other languages. So yeah. Some of the words aren't quite... <laughs> Aren't oh, quite right. <laughs> oh, I had it. Where yeah, and it is, it is in the gauntlet box. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here it is. Oh, God, it's I'm all just soaked. I oh, know. Sorry, it was minging, but uh, you know it's here now. So shut up. Um, wicked. Well, Malrus, you're the captain. I just wanted to um, make sure all of our guns worked. I guess. Well, <laughs> go on then. So we, we test them by firing them on the ship that we're trying to board. No. Okay, no, Malrus. No, what's your plan? Just, let's climb the ladder. Captain first. Um, no, Captain last. Oh, oh, well, I'm the first mate. I'll go first. Leading from the back. Nice. Can I make a perception check? Um, yeah, you can make a perception check. What are you looking for? What's going on on the ship that we're trying to board? Well, you can't see. Because of the smoke. Because mm-hmm. the height difference. Oh, right. oh, the other ship's taller than ours. Are we going yeah. super stealthy and going all invisible? Um, that was the plan. Mm-hmm. So can someone else go first? Because if I get up there and instantly get hit after casting this, we're fucked. I'm all fucked. right. Jeff, if you can make me invisible, I'll go up Mal, can I, I know we're sort of on our way off the Valkyrie, but can I make us invisible here? It's a little bit safer than getting up there and then going invisible. I know mm. I just don't want to break any rules. No, we've got to be off the ship first. Right, we're onto the ladder. On, on the ladder. Do it on the ladder. It's fine. No, we're not breaking any rules then. He's, he's got to touch us all. Just this one exception, which proves the rule. Sometimes I feel like the rules might hinder our plans here a little bit, yeah. but fine. fine. But be Thank quick you. about it. That's what I was trying to be. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jeff casts invisibility using a fifth level spell and makes all four of us invisible, but he's also going to use it casting meta magic to um, use lengthened spell, or oh, um, empowered spell, basically, and it basically allows me to increase it by using sorcerer points the length of duration and so mm-hmm. as invisibility should last an hour i can use my sorcerer points to double that using using each sorcerer point so i can now make that last for up to eight hours please using my sorcerer points oh my goodness you're using lots of sorcery points yep so using mm-hmm. my sorcerer okay. points i want to make this uh, one hour last using four of them to make it doubled up to two then four no it's so using three of them two four and then eight to make it um, okay. An eight hour cool. invisibility for all four of us. Wicked. Can, we, um, can you include Bill in that? 
No, but anything you're carrying, as long as he's lighter, is invisible as well. Ooh. So, it's, uh, so I think it's uh, uh, da, 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 da. anything that yeah, anything invisible that the person is wearing or carrying is at um, this invisible. point. Yeah, I'm is, just... is Bill a thing? So it, it, when he flies off, will he be visible? Yes. As soon as he leaves your ah. being, he'll be visible, but he'll appear from nowhere. But I, I oh, okay, that's fine. I haven't got the uh, the ability to make. I'm sorry, Kef. I'm just not strong enough yet. Oh, it's fine. We should. It'll still scare the crap out of Disembark. Do we have to stay within a certain range of you, or? No, I just can't lose concentration. I've just got to really focus, or get hurt. If I get oh, hurt well. or lose concentration, then it'll uh, all of us. I'll hurt you in a minute if you don't get up them ladders. Come on, let's get off the ship. Let's go. <laughs> I'm climbing now, Russ. I'm climbing. Uh, Come on. Import, important. We're just making sure we're safe before we go into a battle <laughs> zone, Captain. You're about to climb that ladder. One last point of order: Can you see each other? No. Ooh. No. <laughs> well, we're all invisible. Okay. Yeah. Wicked. I would You're have all invisible, so. including to each other. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. But Maris, you've got that little, you've got that headphone thing, haven't you? We've yeah. got those earpieces in, haven't we? Yeah. Well, I have. You don't. Well, whoever's got the pebble of fast speech. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I Maurus, do. Maurus. Come on, stop hurrying me. I'm climbing as fast as I can here. Yeah. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Oh, <laughs> sorry. You're just excited for the battle, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Right, are so we you all climb up? the ladder. Are we all yes. up? Who, uh, let's have this. Let's have the order then. Uh, Who Derek, first? Derek's first. Jeff second. Derek. I'll go third then. I'll be last. <laughs> Leading for the front. As I climb um, the ladder, I'm going to tip the bottle towards the Valkyrie, <gasps> so it can go whoosh, straight back in. There's a slight sploshing sound. You know, like uh, a, a slight sloshing sound as the the space the Valkyrie was hitherto occupying. Is sort of suddenly filled by uh, ocean um, and a sea dog. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the sea dog. You know, like, Panic, the, like the sound like of moving bath water. You know, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, that sort of sound. Um, you know, imagine you put your dog in the bath. That's kind of the thing that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot more. There's a lot more noise. I can promise you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you you climb the ladder, Derek. You get to the top mm-hmm. and roll a perception check, please. Uh, oh, that's not bad. Se- uh, that's not bad at all. Seventeen plus uh, only plus two, but that's not not too bad. Nineteen. Hmm. Okay, with nineteen, you can see that uh, on the deck there are many, many people uh, off. Lots of salesmen firing right. uh, offers, le- guns left and right, and <laughs> Uh, manning the cannons, uh, there's some people wearing a slightly scruffier looking uniform um, who look like a little bit lost, um, and they seem to be maintaining one of the cannons. So it's quite a lot of activity going on. There's a lot of activity going on, and very few people looking in your direction. Okay, I'd like to just stand to the side of the ladder um, so briefly. You're getting to the top. Um, over the noise, can I make another perception check just to hear when people are coming up the ladder? Is that possible, or is it... Um. Well, no. I just want to be aware what, of when people. What's your get plan? Up. What's your plan of action? Are you uh, getting to the top and peeking over? I'm getting to the top, um, or and are I'm you just going to f- climbing over straight away. Oh, it's a very good question. Uh, mm. I've peeked over, seeing. So you've stopped at the top to peek. Yeah, seeing everybody not particularly paying us attention, I think I would mm. then continue to climb up and wait next to the ladder for the rest of the team to arrive because. Um, in all of the confusion, uh, I know it's only it's happened recently. We recently got mm-hmm, these orders, mm-hmm. but I'm not entirely sure what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. You you can climb over, and the rest of you, are you climbing over straight away, or are you getting to stop and waiting? As soon as, what, what do we do? As soon as Jeff's head hits Derek's ass, he waits for him to <laughs> finally climb over, and yep. then when he climbs over, Jeff's going to very carefully climb over as well sort of feeling along the rail, because obviously you can see it. So he's going to stand just to the side where it comes over and just sort of hold his hand at the corner so he can feel, hopefully, when Keth puts his hand to climb up. So Because nice. I, I want to basically grab hold of the back of Keth and feel him and, and stand behind him. <laughs> uh, could you please roll a 1d4? How romantic. A d4? Uh, yes. Oh, that's a horrible one. Mm-hmm. It's a four. With a four, you manage to step to the side that Derek isn't standing at. Sick. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Sick. Uh, Keth, what are you doing? So, um, Keth's confident because he's invisible. Um, and so he scrambles up the ladder, 
Um, yep. And then, because he knows he's invisible, puts his hands straight on the side, on the gunnel of the ship, and then hops yep. over. Um, okay. What What's Keth's plan of action from there? Is he standing exactly in front of the ladder? Is he stepping to one side? What's he he would have. He would have still stepped to one side because he knows he's okay. got Maros. Roll one d four. If he felt, if he's put, he said he's put his hands on the top. Yeah, yeah. So he would have mm-hmm. felt Jeff's hand. Yeah. So can Jeff grab his hand at that point and sort of pull him towards that side, stepping back so it doesn't be awkward? Because he basically uh, wants to grab hold of Keth and just sort of pull him. Th- say, roll a way. dexterity check. Fair one. Fair one. Uh, dexterity. Uh, not is that a saving throw? No, nope, a check. Just, okay, sorry. Uh, dexterity. I'm okay. Uh, that is a. 12 in total. Yeah. Uh with a 12 you just you quite you a bit awkwardly just sort of sort of hassle him out of the way of the ladder a little bit. Kev, Kev is me. I'm just going to use you as a bit of a shield lad because it's Ooh. it's a bit awkward you, you touch him you touch his nipples a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. It's it's Jeff. It's Jeff. I'm just going to use you as a shield and get you out of the way of the ladder. It's work time Derek's now, Jeff. There. Now's not the I'm time. Rare. <laughs> guys, I know there's a lot of activity but let's, you know. Yeah. Guys, let's keep guys, it down a little bit. Are you at the top. Yeah, 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 we're, yeah, yeah. we're at the top. We're standing. Come on, Captain. I can hear. I'm on this I side. Can, I can hear you through my pebble of fast speech. Oh, wicked, Malrus! What is our objective again? We need to get to the captain's cabin to find a cylinder that's uh, possibly in a safe. Okay, can I make a perception check to just look to see if I can see um, anything that might be the captain's well, cabin, fact, like the the can inside? Me and Keth roll as well, or can I roll at least? Because I want. If uh, you can roll a perception check, yeah. having heard that from Malrus, I would uh, want to try and find. It. Not good. That is a natural seven, so a nine. Uh, no, it's very it's just chaotic. Yeah, perception is twenty, not natural. Ooh. I don't know. I can't. Fire, I can't see it, Malrus. All this bloody uh, cabin fire. You, you can't see a specific cabin, but your experience of boats thus far uh, gives you a fair indication of which direction you might find the captain's cabin. Okay. Um, you think I'm there'd be a neon Maris? sign? At least. <laughs> yeah. This way. You Maris, are here. you're boarding, you're hopping over the rail? I'm going to hop over the rail. Um, Excellent. Yeah. Bloody hell, Maris, don't stand on my foot. Um, Sorry, Derek. <laughs> so, we, uh, we should we just follow you, Maris? Kef, grab hold of the back of Maris and just follow him. Okay. There you Jeff, are. Are you going to form a weird conga snake? No, yes. no, no. I want to look for... Um, An wanna... invisibility conga snake. I want to yeah. look for anybody that... I want to find the captain. I don't know... Cap- Maris, where would you be in a battle like this? <laughs> At the wheel. <laughs> Should... I think... Look, maybe what we're looking for, obviously, will be in the captain's cabin. Or maybe look for the most shoutiest man. As we move through the ship, I'd like to do that. If that's okay, okay. captain. Roll... Um... Uh, roll, uh, yeah, roll perception. Can roll I do perception. investigation? Mm. I guess if you're specifically looking for a very shouty person. Yeah, yeah, okay. a shouty person in sort of like flashings and stuff like that. Okay, um, right, roll for a roll for shouty person. Yeah. Can I roll for person who's got <laughs> the biggest uh, hat on? A, uh, uh, yes, uh, you can roll for hat. Right, we'll roll well, nineteen to the people, total, guys. We, roll for hat. We don't want the people. We want the things without the people. <laughs> yes, but we need to know where he is. That's a two. <laughs> no, we we need to know his cabin. If he's yeah. in there, then we'll deal with him. Then would you say that's perception? Oh, what though, if he James? shouts? What if? What if it turns out we need a key? Uh, no, investigation. I'm trying to nick stuff off him. I just want to make sure that where our target it, is. That turns into oh, a I six. just don't know how long we've got with this. Uh, with a six, you spot someone with a nice hat. Ooh, look at the feather in that. Oh, sorry, you, this is you like it. it. <laughs> I'm gonna have. I'm gonna try and nick that on the way back. <laughs> just grab it as he walks past, <laughs> invisibly. Uh, to be fair, he, you are walking quite close to this person. If you would like to grab it, you can roll a dexterity check to try and grab it. And sleight of hand as well. Probably to see slight still of when, yeah, so, yeah, go, in fact, yeah, go sleight of hand, because you effectively pick heading. <laughs> when he touches it, will the hat disappear? Because yes. he is invisible. <gasps> it will, yeah. yes. Yeah. So but is whether, that... Whether the owner notices. Be kind. But dice of 20. Would he roll at advantage because it would go invisible? I, I would say... Not you might no, think you've just been shot off or something. No. Yeah, yeah, he might. Yeah, but let's see. It very much depends on now. the role of this dice. I feel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What did you get, Tom? I got a thirteen, but I get a plus three to slide of hand, so sixteen. Oh, with a sixteen, uh, you do get the hat. Yes. And the owner uh, turns around suddenly. What the hell was this? <laughs> Fuck! And ducks as a shot <laughs> fires over his head, um, and he immediately charges back towards the uh, the 
the cannons to uh, the gun rail on the far side of the ship <coughs> to to take more shots. He'd been sort of acquiring some gunpowder from a barrel which he was stood at. Keth wonders why he's sitting higher on his head. Than he would normally. Yes. Yes. I was wondering <laughs> about this. <laughs> oh, He's the duck quite wearing quite the hat. Can't get it completely down on his head. There's some weird scuffling going on, but um... the re- the rest of you can hear like dis- distressed <laughs> quacking going on. Just Keith, keep that <laughs> bloody duck quiet. What the? Not... I've had enough of your dog jokes. We're in the middle of a battle, Maurus. Oh, where are we Maris. going? <laughs> Well, you don't want to get shot, do you? You might as well duck. <laughs> can I roll perception for Captain's Cabin? Because I haven't done yes. that yet. Yes, you can. Roll perception. That is... Whereabouts on the ship are we at the moment? You're a midship. A midship, okay. Fair. Towards the back, towards the front? That is a 16. With a 16, yeah, you have a your, your nautical knowledge and the unique knowledge of a captain. <laughs> um... My captain sense is tingling. You can, you can <laughs> sense... The presence of a captain's cabin, and you're you, you sort of you don't know you don't know for certain, but your inner thoughts think that's probably where way. they keep it. Yeah. His... If I <laughs> if I were the captain of this ship, that's where I'd put his it. captain tingle <laughs> in the traditional sort of, spot. Uh, the back. You know, you sort of, for want of a better phrase, follow your nose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Let's go. Okay. Well, I'm going to go up to the captain's cabin then. Are you all still in this sort of uh, God knows. holding onto each other's shirt? Sort of conga line. Or, Are they all behind me? Or Mar- it's, I don't know. You tell me. I'm holding on to Keth, definitely. Okay. Uh, so I you wasn't are... necessarily holding on to anybody, so I probably wouldn't see Mal's head off. Uh, no, you, you wouldn't notice mm-hmm. anyone. Leave. If you're not holding on to anyone, you won't see them leave. So, no, I'm still looking for the captain. <laughs> okay. Who's holding okay. on to me? I was holding on, I'm gonna, I was holding on to you because you came up though. behind me. Okay. And then. <laughs> yeah, so. So, Maurus, then Keth, <laughs> then Jeff, and then I've got a rogue rogue. Yes. Okay, so three yeah. of you head yeah. off uh, in the direction of the <laughs> captain's God. cabin. Derek, um, roll a uh, roll a perception check at disadvantage oh, to, to, yeah. to hear them leave. Oh, to hear them leave. Ooh. Or to sense them leaving. Uh, disadvantage, 12 yes. still. They are invisible, uh, though. With a 12, hmm. you kind shall don't be? notice immediately, Fair. but you notice their absence suddenly and head off in the direction you were previously heading. Okay. Um, and uh, roll a dexterity saving throw, please. Uh, that is a dex save. Um, that's a 20, not net. Uh, you, you manage to catch up with them without bumping into any of them and knocking them over. You just sort of... You catch up and you, you sort of run with your hands out a little bit. And you Fair. Touch I wasn't of... um, necessary. I wouldn't necessarily have gone to try and find them straight away because oh, okay. I was still looking Fine. for the captain, um, mm-hmm. which I did roll a nineteen investigation check for. Um, uh, yeah, you you see what p- potential captain candidates. Potential. Oh, really? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, in that case, where no, are uh, they're they're going, all wearing, I'm the they're, captain. <laughs> they're they're wearing there's Imperial the Navy uniforms, so And know. then there's the backup captain just standing right behind him, shadowing yeah, I mean the backup captain the is there, you know. Um, <laughs> That's the backup backup. And then oh, the backup yeah. backup captain. <laughs> ah, they're in the wardrobe. It's the spare one. Yeah. No, okay, yeah. No, um, you, you, you identify someone who looks uh, to your mind captain esque. What's he doing? Commanding? Is he steering the ship? He's is he... uh, firing a pistol and shouting. Okay, are we in sort of the thick of the battle at the moment? Yeah, well, put it this way: it's a quite a large deck because yeah. it's a very big ship. Yeah, um, it's a big deck. And dick. I mean, to give to give you a perception of the sort of the width that I'm talking about, I, I'm thinking about half the width of like a football pitch. Okay. It's quite wow. wide, wow. quite a wide space, yeah, and yeah. the gunfire is happening. Say the gunfire is happening all on the port side of the ship. Right. Uh, the enemy is to the port. Um, you so are very much sort of behind their starboard, line, right? Yes. We're you are very much behind line. the lines. Okay, so he hasn't noticed at all. All right, in that case, uh, where I am, can I see the captain's cabin? You can see where you think the captain's. Okay, cabin fair might. enough. Yeah, in which case, then I'd like to. If you were looking for a captain's cabin, uh, you can see a place where you th- you, you think assume. that ought to be. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, in which case, then I would go and rejoin. Yeah, I'm just making sure where everything is. Cool. Like cool. any good burglar, mm. Mm. covering all the exits. Nice. I mean, it's a ship, so the exits are located here, 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 here all around. Um, yeah, emergency exits over the side. Um, I'm Watch getting... out for the guard dog, Malra. <laughs> those sea dogs are definitely. I think it might just be a trap. It might just be one of those scare methods that he's just got. It's, yeah. a, it's like a fake dog inside 
on one of the cards. <laughs> what are we yeah. doing, Maurice? God, I can't um, I'm going to peek through the window of the captain's cabin door. Uh, yeah, you can. You get to a cabin that you think ought to be the captain's cabin, mm-hmm. and it does indeed have an window. Excellent. Then I will look through it. Okay, roll perception. Oh, that's a six. Uh, You hear a pirate say, fuck's sake, uh, in the background. (laughs) Sorry, an Imperial Navy officer. (laughs) This battle's not going very well, Uh, is it? Could have been either, to be honest. (laughs) (laughs) There's a lot of noise out here. I'm amazed we heard it at all. (laughs) It's just Timbers shouting from across the way. Will the dogs barking (laughs) at (laughs) them? Uh, you see, you see, you know the carpenters there just go fuck, hey, <laughs> all these holes. <laughs> um, the captain strides in, kicks the door open. <laughs> uh, no, uh, you look inside and you see a fancy cabin, uh, something akin to the last uh, imperial ship that you saw mm. uh, with the captain's cabin of, a uh, but on a slightly grander scale. Uh, it has a sort of its own sitting room area. Uh, you can see it has a dining table in it. It's sort of like a, a small apartment. Wow. Captain. Mm. Very fancy. It must be an important captain. Ooh, is it? Well, it is the realm's glory, after mm. all. Ooh, have they got uh, Chesterfields, Marus? It looks like it. Is there a pile so, of Ferrero Rocher on the table? At, at the, this point. No, that's that's for the ambassador. Is there a drinks ah. globe, Malrus? There could quite possibly be. It's a bit... Smoky, I can't really see the glass. We could go in and we could have a better sure, look. Yeah. Derek, you're up, mate. Where, Where is Derek? Derek? You're here too, lads. Oh, sorry, I was just fiddling with my, uh, my new thieves' tools. I can't really get too much of this new tracksuit of mine. Um, but... as, you're, as you're having this conversation, <laughs> uh, you hear a sudden uproar in the noise. And uh, can you all make a dexterity saving throw, please? But of course. 16. Oh. That is right. I get a plus 8 to my death saves. 15. No. I only get plus um, 7. That is a 24. 24, 2. <laughs> so two 24s and a 15 and a 16. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get plus okay, 7. Uh, mm. That's good. Uh, been... Maurus and Jeff, you are knocked to the ground by this. Uh, sudden violent lurch that the ship you are on gives um mm. keth and derek you sort of man you, you seem to have acquired your sea legs mm. whilst you've been at sea as you do mm. and you sort of take this in only because my a legs and my b legs got blown off yeah <laughs> <laughs> and turning you see the mass of the tell death far closer oh, than fuck. it was before and swinging from the rigging and swarming onto the ship is a herd of your fellow comrades. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> drawing cutlasses, cut lie, uh, I don't know, uh, axes, uh, sharpened deals, and all sorts of uh, <laughs> naval weaponry. Smart talk. <laughs> <laughs> and sass as well. <laughs> um, and the, the Imperial Naval... Uh, well, people, you know, uh, are turning from their muskets to their swords and pistols and engaging in much more of a sort of hand-to-hand, close quarters combat with your fellows from the Tell Death. Very quick, Um, quick. Well, fuck, fuck, lads. Well, that that was sort of what I was about to say. Um, Basically, all the fighting's on the other side of the ship, but I guess you guys know that now. The captain's over there. Let's get on with this. Can I um, I do a quick TC? Hey. Uh, yes, you may. Yeah. Yes, you may. Ooh, I really oh. want to get involved in that. Think of That's the damage that we could do behind the lines. Total. Stay, total. stay. You're a good shield at the moment. Just stay there in between me Keth, and if the, you want, the If you want to get man. stuck in and start shooting people, you can do that. You do that you. Would be so Keth. Good. So you know. chaotic. It would be awesome. <laughs> Keth, can I borrow you Bob? You do what Keth would do. <laughs> like, Keth is quite, getting quite itchy, but he knows there's a mission on. It's the mission and then going to do all of that. You could stand outside the door, Keth, when we're all in and guard it and then shoot anyone that comes near it. You don't mind if I chop a, a, run a few people through, do you? You you do you. You've got your new special axe thing. I'm, I'm itching to use quite it. Impressive. Just once we're in and close the door and it looks like it normal, you just stand here invisible and just do your thing. Whirling dervish, Keth. <laughs> what do you need, Maurus? Keth, 
Can I have Bob, please? Oh, that's a great idea. Yes, please. Uh, as long as you give it back. I will give it back, I promise. I've got some valuable stuff in there. Okay, here you go. And we're about to have some more valuable stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, it might get a bit cool. bitey. Is there this awkward okay, handover um, from... What, indiv- how did your trap check go? Um, I got 16 for the trap check. With a 16, you can't see any traps. Wicked. Uh, I'd like to um, use my thieves' tools, please. Except the mimic. Ah. Um, which um, is, okay. Oh, yeah. Natural 19 plus 8, I think. <laughs> okay. With a natural 19 plus 8, you can't unlock the door. Oh. oh. Fuck, lads. I don't, know on, Derek. I don't know what's... No, no, no. I don't know. I, I've not seen this type of um, configuration before. I don't. Can I investigate the lock? Uh, you can investigate the lock, yes. Yeah. Um, that's a natural 20. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, 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 the natural 20. Does it look uh, like a complex machine sort of lock? No. Nope. Is it a just a normal... Yep. Oh, fuck. fuck. I am going to use, on the off chance... I don't want to say it, lads. And what? I know, that, look, this sounds like I'm just making excuses, and you might say, oh, it happens to every burglar. Well, not me. <laughs> I think there's fucking magic on this door. Well, I was just going to say I was going to use Dispel Magic. Oh, okay. brilliant. Do you need my thieves' uh, yeah. tools? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to smash in the window, to be honest. Oh, reach your hand through. Just reach. Oh, okay. I'm going to get the yo-yo out and wave Probably it around. Stunt. Yeah. Nice. What's the, okay. um, what's the trick? Uh, There's one called calls. The Creeper. There's one called... I don't know, around the corner, I guess. Is there one called Dispel Magic? Because <laughs> that would be Ooh. really handy. Is there one called Have You Checked the Doors Locked? Uh, well, Derek uh, tried with his thief okay. tools and then tried and he, the door wouldn't open. You know no. what? Derek tried to unlock the door. Yes. I'm going to try opening the, the door the before project. I... You open the door. Okay, <laughs> oh, excellent. Right. Yeah, okay. Eric, ah. when you were trying that key, did you really not think just to try the handle as well, see if it was unlocked when you did the key stuff? I just, do you know what? I just get into it and I assume everywhere's locked. Did I you mean, just, just push so, a honestly, pull door? It's, fun, funnily Eddie, enough. Quick, let's God. get inside. We can have this conversation in. <laughs> quick. Yeah, we go inside, close the door. Kess stays outside. <laughs> as, as we go inside, Derek's just going to keep muttering. Um, you know, it's actually more often that I go through locked doors than the ones that are unlocked. So I just sort of, it's just a natural habit at this Anywhere point. Anywhere that says open, Derek just ignores. Yeah. Ah, I'll come back later. <laughs> uh, Kessie, are you staying outside or are you drinking? I'm staying outside. And I might okay. wander off and do a bit of running people through. I don't know. Maris, <laughs> How exciting. can I just suggest you might give him, give Keth your earpiece? Because that way he can hear without having to have like a stone. We could just have the stone on loudspeaker in here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Not a bad chat. Although, to be fair, I don't know how I'd hand that over. So I'm just going to pop it on the window ledge and hope for the best. Don't lose it. It's tiny. Where is it? <laughs> Where did you put it? <laughs> she should become visible. Yeah, when it becomes visible I... when it goes on the window ledge. Yeah, you still got to tell him where it is, yeah. though. It's on, on the window ledge. Of the oh, yeah, yeah. Cap- outside the captain's cabin. Oh, it's all waxy. Okay, fine. I did it Gross. So we go in. Derek, do you want to lock the door? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. Do you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, why not? Just um, so that way when we come to get out, there's not a confusion again. Uh, 21. Uh, yeah, you, you lock the door. <laughs> nice. Like, Safety ooh, first. Oh. <laughs> if they get through okay. Keth, they've got to get through the door. <laughs> No, he doesn't do that. Absolutely <laughs> none of you tried the door first. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's on me. I'm sorry, <laughs> lads. Check for traps. Immediately must pick lock. When you hear horse, hooves, <laughs> think horses. I just <laughs> assume if I was a captain, I'd lock up. I mean, Malrus, you locked up when we left, didn't what? you? Mid battle. Yeah. I know, Derek. I'll be as quick as I can. You just keep feeding Pedro those hazelnuts of yours. I'll see what I can find out. Look, I'm at the desk now, so I'll call you when I'm leaving. Mm. What does this say? Congratulations, you've made it. This is the very best and most important part of the show. The moment with the master. (laughs) Not anymore. Now, what's this here? Ooh, it's an enormous and very heartfelt thank you for being here from all of the members of the Royal Britannia crew. Well... That's true. 
as I suppose without your unswerving support, the destroying of enemies and bashing of baddies would have ground to a very sorry halt quite a long time ago. So it's fantastic to have you all on board. It really is. Oh, God. What was that? You heard that, right? Oh, it must have been nothing. No, no, no. I definitely heard something. It, it kind of sounds like a, a, a random celebrity shout out. Oh, whoa. Well, according to this scribbled on bar napkin, it seems like naturalist and explorer Steve Backshaw has been checking out the show and he's been bombarding us with questions about the flora and fauna of the Shattered Lands. See, I'm not sure that that's true, but I suppose he does say it on a bar napkin, so who knows? Oh, and speaking of shout outs, there's an odd screen here with a very little blue bird in the corner. And apparently someone with a very scary sounding name called Andy the Destroyer has sent us a message. Well, I'm sure all the boys will be glad to know that you're loving the show and that you thought that the trailer was great too. Who knew that getting your tyres changed would lead you to the mayhem that is Royal Britannia? Now, let me be real with you guys for a second. I know we're awesome because Keth keeps saying how amazing we are, although that is mainly when he's in front of a mirror. But if you were thinking that about us too, then there's no need to despair that it's another whole week until the next episode of Royal Britannia. Because you can get your daily fix of the show by hunting us down on social media. Maurus kept telling us about all of these strange places such as Facebook and Twitter, Discord and Instagram. But we're all on there and you can find us there too, faster than Derek doing a trap check. We have great fun chatting to the lot of you. And we're always keen to hear new ideas and answer any questions. So don't be shy. Get involved. Also, if you're really enjoying yourselves and are really, really liking Roll Britannia, then you could always help us out by giving us a lovely five star review. It would certainly help to keep Timbers off our backs. And there's loads of places you can do it, whether it be iTunes or Spotify. There's a place called Podchaser, I think, as well. Or, well, however else you like to listen to our ridiculous adventures. It's really easy to do, and we'd really, really appreciate it. If you haven't already, don't forget to double-check that you've bashed that all-important subscribe button. Or Greg Flashman will have you polishing his favourite gun. Okay, right. You lot, I think I found this map that I was looking for, so I'm best get back to Derek before Pedro eats all his nuts. Hey, I'll tell you what. Follow me this way, and I'll take you right back to the story. Come on, come with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not so fast. One more thing. Just one more thing. A little message from our sponsors. Now, Cupid works very hard in February, but our friends at Manscaped are working harder than ever to ensure your Valentine's Day is one to remember. Don't turn this day of romance into an Independence Day this year, and get control with their Performance Package 4.0, which includes their signature lawnmower 4.0. This February, join 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. With our exclusive offer, just go to manscaped.com and use code ROLLBRIT, that's R-O-L-L-B-R-I-T, for 20% off and free shipping. Contrary to popular belief, love is not blind when you can't see past the love jungle. Mm. <laughs> uh, the performance package will leave you with more dating app notifications than Cupid has arrows. This lovely bundle comes equipped with the best tools needed when freshening up for a night out on the town. Yeah. Uh, inside the performance package, you'll find the signature lawnmower. Now, Manscaped have sent me one of these, and yes, I have tried it. I took the plunge, and I gave it a go just for you. You know, I'm not going to tell you about something unless I've tried it out, and I have. And it's delightful. This electric trimmer is designed to trim hair on loose skin. The advanced skin-safe technology reduces cuts and nicks on your delicate nuts. Yeah. It also comes equipped with a 4,000 Kelvin LED spotlight that's bright enough to shine a light on your true love this year. Yeah. Maybe, you know, if you want to point a shaver at them but you know what i mean anyway confucius says education breeds confidence so it's time to get educated on the ultimate grooming routine for all your areas of romance this year the package also includes the weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer to whack the worst of your weeds manscaped even threw in 
a two free gifts. Their shared travel bag, which is really stylish, quite discreet as well, but actually just really nice. And an anti-chafing box, a pair of boxer briefs to keep your boys cool and collected. And they are, they're something else, you know. I, I wore them to work the other day. I was cool and collected all day, yeah. Now, uh, for extra freshness, the performance package also includes Manscaped's liquid formulations like the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. Now, the uh, deodorant was very refreshing. It was lovely. You know, felt nice and you know fresh down there. But I'll tell you what is even fresher, that ball toner. A quick spritz of that and it was like uh, a quick dip in an ice cold pool, but in a pleasant way. Very nice. Uh, the deodorant works wonders out of the shower while the toner is perfect for on the go. And it's designed to keep your goods smelling wonderful all day and all night long. Yeah. Let's not just focus on your southern region this time of year. The Manscaped Refined Cologne is the cherry atop the perfect date package. Pepe Le Pew approved. Uh Uh, It offers a masculine yet light scent that will leave your partner speechless. Yeah. Manscaped has got you covered for Valentine's Day, so get yourself the gift that you and your date will both appreciate. Go to manscaped.com for our exclusive offer of 20% off plus free shipping with the code ROLLBRIT. That's R-O-L-L-B-R-I-T for 20% off and free shipping. Remember, you can't buy love, but you can buy a clean pair of balls. So remember, that's 20% off and free shipping with the code ROLLBRIT at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Just use the code ROLLBRIT. Help tame that love jungle you've got in your pants with Manscaped. Can I make yeah. a perception check to see if I can see a safe anywhere, please? Uh, yes, please do. Yeah, can I'd, li- I'd also like to investigate the room for any yeah, valuables. Yeah. Uh, I think it's an investigation right. check rather than a perception. You're looking oh, for Oh, but I don't get plus to that. Yes. No, but you are oh, investigating. Fine, the just a 16. Oh, uh, that is an investigation check for me of 21. Oh, that is an investigation check. Check. That's a, a natural of, 20 plus and, 1. I have and now. I'm not, well, 17 plus 5. It's not behind these curtains. 22. 22. Oh. We're all rolling um, quite well today, actually. You are, you, Just you're making poor decisions. Quite well. um, Jeff, you, you don't spot a safe, but you, you do spot a drinks globe, so that's good. <gasps> Malrus and Derek, you... Derek, because of your innate knowledge of where valuables would be in mm. any given room, yep. and Malrus, because, again, of your innate captain's knowledge, you look at this room and you think, yes, if this were my captain's office... I'd put the safe over there. And you both just make a beeline straight for it. Uh, Kat, mm. you are now <laughs> alone on... Well, not alone, but uh, without your comrades. Uh, and you see a battle raging in front of you. It's Kat time. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God, Kat. You have a number of targets to go for. And I feel like uh, if, if you're going to engage in combat here, here's what I'm going to say. Okay. You are going to have a surprise round on any number of enemies that you choose to attack, but you will then roll initiative with them. Okay. Is that fair? So if you yes. if you throw your axe, it becomes visible, right? Mm-hmm. Until yeah. it gets back to your hand and then it becomes invisible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So like okay, that's anyway. that's just an insane but image. <laughs> all the time it's in my hand. You also have the tabard of rage. <laughs> and I also have that's awesome. my pistol fitted with the librarian's friend. So as long as I could, you do as long as I fire that, <laughs> and I, and I keep passing the stealth checks, then oh, and it on will your just character be... sheet here it says it says you've got God mode on as well, <laughs> <laughs> and I've got action surge. Oh god, the day has yep. come. Right, yep. I'd like and to start two handed fighting. <laughs> so here, here's the situation with your with your bonuses and your new. New skills. Mm. If you choose to take the attack action, as uh, as your new plethora of things goes, mm. you will you will be able to make an attack. Now, if you choose, if you're using two-handed fighting, so you're choosing to use another weapon in your offhand as mm-hmm. well, you can then use your bonus action to make another attack, but without any of your modifiers. Yes. You also then get a second attack, so you can attack again. <laughs> and then, if you then choose to use your new fighter's ability to action surge, you can take the attack action. <laughs> Which then allows you to do an, an attack and a second attack. If you wanted to right now, you could make five attacks. 
I think if we work together, James, we can kill as many people as possible. <laughs> well, if you if, if you we work together, really well, said Fred you could to kill Rose five West. people in this next turn. So let's oh. let's as a team, let's see how this plays out. Yeah. Kef, the floor is in actuality yours. Well, I would like to start this moment by casting <laughs> Hunter's Mark. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, it's now, a proper well. Keth moment before, now. Before, before you choose to do oh. that, Hunter's Mark is your bonus action, is it? Um, That's true. Yeah, that is true. Oh, okay. So maybe I shouldn't then. So you'd lose an attack if you don't. Oh, we like attacks more than Hunter's Mark. Uh, if you do. <laughs> okay, well, scrap that idea. So. Oh, the one time he remembers. I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> but I do again. like killers. Okay, so Keth is obviously, he hates, he hates um, the Imperial Guard. Um, so it's yep. just going to be a case of these are the bad guys, they all have to go down. Which, yep, there are plenty of them around, plenty you. of them around you, right? Okay, first, I need to get the battle is sort of surging more to, to fill the whole ship, it is spreading away from one side and starting to spread out across the entire deck. I love so the idea just... that Keth is like standing there, just scratching his chin, like, which one? Which, one? which Keth? one? I'm trying to figure out how <laughs> to do this most. So, with my well. Just no, to help I mean, you out, sorry. Um, one of the conditions of being invisible is that any of your attacks have advantage. So all of your no attacks way. have advantage. No way, really. All your attacks are at advantage. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Oh, because they can't see them coming. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to yeah, try so and think every single one of how to use the tabard of rage. <laughs> right. Because that, oh God. I don't think I even need that. Because that gives you pluses as well. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> A lot if of admin you... for this killing spree, isn't there? I know this is the most planned killing spree Keth's ever done. Yeah. <sighs> well, since we've he's just been surveying the scene the entire time we've been discussing the whole door unlocking situation, he's just been watching, planning out all of this. We're just now switch back over to Keth back in yeah. time. Yeah. So, Keth, what's happening? Okay, so the tabard of rage has been activated. So Keth is using rage. Don't forget to use the okay. line. So what that means? Uh, what is the line? What's the line for the tabard of rage? There isn't a there isn't a line for that one. I sent you one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Whisper well, it quietly so the ladies and gentlemen don't hear it. We'll just cut it out. It's it's white and powdery. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. It's a Dylan Thomas line. It's the one I sent you a messenger, and I've just right. sent you another message saying, don't forget to use this line. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, oh you said you put it in capitals good. as well. It's not a massive line, and then just recites poetry, and then kills like. like so we'll cut people. back. I'm not in this bit, so now you can <laughs> say it. Just dilate, you know. So now all you you'll say it, Kef. All you hear is you hear well, Kef. You hear. <laughs> <laughs> Kef reaches across his back and pulls out his new axe, the money maker, and then <laughs> he draws Brittany. His arcane pistol. Yep. So he's got the money maker in the left. No, he's got a pistol in the left and money maker in the right. And all you hear him whispering. <laughs> the pistol with the librarian's friend. Oh, yes. Yep. Do not go yep. gentle into that good night. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. We see a sort of a, a sort of moment, like a sort of anime cut so scene cool. where the camera whips round and we see the blood vessels in Kat's <laughs> eyes just expand ever so slightly. You see... Brown lines appear and veins. his teeth begin to show. Veins pulsate around his body and he sort of flexes ever so slightly. Kef, what happens? Closest pirate, where is he? Uh, pretty much in front of you. He's got his back to you as well. He's fighting someone else. I am going to aim for the closest enemy's head with Excellent. Brittany. All So roll to hit with first one. Yes. And there's an advantage roll anyway. Roll to hit. Okay, fine. Yes. Okay. So roll twice. That's wicked. And take the higher. Roll of the twice. Two. Fine. So the highest was seventeen. Now I do have plus eleven to ranged weapons. So <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. So that's a twenty-eight. <laughs> um, gonna shock you here. That is gonna hit. <laughs> Somehow, with one bullet, you have okay, every vital fine. organ in his body. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> keeps hitting different parts of the skeleton and ricocheting uh, yep. through. <laughs> roll damage. So now I roll. Turns him into a damage. puddle. There's a four. And there's a six. So that's uh, ten to hit plus four fire damage as well. So that's ten plus four. So fourteen. Yep. Uh, you blow his head off. <laughs> Blam. Next. Um, so, then, hold on. These people are fighting and a man's head just explodes. Yep. 
That's one. Okay, well, that's I rolled one. a twenty-eight wow. to hit, didn't I? Uh, you did, yes. Okay. Jo- joined the Empire, guys. <laughs> Let me find uh, that librarian. One of your friend. fellows from who, one of your fellows who was fighting, uh, who was fighting him, uh, gets showered in and, uh, internals of his, his friend. Uh, <laughs> um, and yeah, it is smattered. It's just a whiff of uh, smoke from a, nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, James, um, can you roll yes. a, a DC check for me? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, that's a 16. Ooh, that's pretty good. Right. Well, I would imagine being invisible, your stealth checks are somewhat at advantage. Yes, they are. I'm just making sure to see if anybody noticed that shot. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Well, yes. Uh, you needed to roll a 19. So you did yeah, well. I didn't. So, <laughs> so no one yes. notices. It's just complete. The librarian's friend suppressor. Yep. Fight, fight, fight. Y- yep. Uh, next attack. This will be your offhand weapon. Mm-hmm. So it's a two. Is it? What I, I don't get as much on the damage with the money. Maker. You don't because you don't when with your offhanded one with your offhand weapon. You don't get any of the modifiers to it either when you're doing two-handed mm. fighting. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it's just so a that's fine. Um, so with the money maker. Yep. Just a dice roll, but I need to roll to hit first. Yes, you advantage. <laughs> Again, uh, you'll get advantage, but you won't get any of your modifiers. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, 14 to hit. You rolled quite poorly. A uh, 14 does hit. Excellent. <sighs> roll damage. Okay. By the way, I like how you've organised this killing spree by order of convenience. <laughs> <laughs> Closeness. <laughs> um, so, just with the hit roll is a... Oh, we're all the ones. It's an eight. A seven. I think we're all into seven. Nice. Seven. Seven damage. Uh, your axe flies out of invisibility and embeds itself in the back of this other um, Imperial naval, naval officer. Um, but uh, the, the figure doesn't die. Now your axe uh, <laughs> oh, God. does something oh. uh, when it hits, does it not? It. What? Yes, oh it does. Oh, my God. Yes, it does. Um... I need to roll a D100 to see how much gold I've just earned. Uh, yeah, roll, roll your D100. <laughs> Does it just fill 63. the wound or something? Uh, as, the, as the act buries itself in the back of this salesman, it spews 63 gold all over the floor. Oh, God. Oh, I've, I've got to go and pick it up. Oh, that is. I'll send Bill in later. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, but straight um, up terrifying. I thought right? I just heard That's... a ka-chink in my back pocket like an old Asda advert. Ting, ting. <laughs> nope. It just spews everywhere. Yeah. Not even in a, like a collective thing. It literally just fountains out. 63 gold <laughs> what pieces. What a sight. Yep. Turning people into still cash alive. <laughs> Come on, lads. These guys are all hiding treasure inside them. Guess like the milky bars are on me and just hurls his axe into the back of some kid. <laughs> <laughs> so back to your pistol. <laughs> and you get your back modifiers to, again now. Fuck. Back to pistol. So is this still all in attack one? Yes, this is your, well, no, yeah, this is your, third this is your of, second attack. This is now, now my yeah, second attack. Both, yeah, out of your five, yeah. Yeah, this is attack three, but your second technical attack of it. Okay, so that, pi- that pirate is still alive though, isn't he? Yes. Okay. Uh, I will. He just took seven axe damage. Seven axe damage. The richest he's ever been in his entire life. <laughs> I will take a shot at his head to finish him off. This is seven okay. pay. Um, <laughs> With advantage. <laughs> You're fired. Okay. This one was fourteen. Oh, excellent. Um, does a twenty-five hit? Yes, a 25 A 25 hits. hits. Excellent. Starts with a two. He's just a person. <laughs> he's just a kid. <laughs> just a child. <laughs> he has a mother. He's actually still got acne. He's quite young. Yeah. Oh, my he's God. Old. He's got one of those wispy moustaches. Yeah. Join the army. When he screams, when he, when he screams with when he screams with pain, you hear his voice breaking. <laughs> <laughs> so that and is eleven well. points of damage. Are you shooting him in the head? Yes. Yeah, his head bursts <laughs> as well. Okay, could you um, roll... Far across the ocean, a distant mother. Could you we... roll DC check, please, James? Yeah, I'm not going to waste your time with it. It's a two. Yeah, no one hears it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
That axe is also moneymaker's back in Kev's hand is now invisible. Um, this is, a, is it? This is because incredible. I believe that's a bonus. Oh, is it still action. stuck in him? Yes. Right. Okay. Your bur- you, you can you, you can either retrieve it manually um, <laughs> using your movement, or you can bonus action to return it. To oh no, I'm going to go and retrieve it manually, and it'll be the old school way. Walk up, or I'm just just just, just go, <laughs> just and the axe will vanish. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Is there a brief moment when the body vanishes as well? If Kev yeah. picks it up, yes. If he doesn't, if he's Kev, not carrying it, roll a strength check to see if when you try and pull the axe out, you lift the headless body <laughs> and then it drops down. Uh, no. <laughs> this whole thing is like an acid trip. <laughs> yeah. Imagine one of the guys from the town house swung on board, landed, and just witnessed this, and we're like, <laughs> 14. What? No, I'm getting back. 14. Uh, it ain't worth it. Uh, with the 14, yeah, you, you briefly lift this figure off the ground <laughs> as you're lifting the axe. And it very brief, like almost flickers out of existence. If you were watching it, you'd just see this body slightly lift itself up, vanish, and then reappear and drop to the Yeah, <laughs> I love the idea. I love the idea that there's like one officer or something who's like surveying the scene and he just misses all of this. <laughs> so he, like, he just now, glances Kef, over when the body disappears and then um, as he looks away. We, you have a choice mm-hmm. here. You can either end, you can end your turn now if you'd like. Or you can choose to action surge and attack two more times. I think the ladies and gentlemen would like an action surge, I think. Bear in mind, you can only action surge once per long rest. Yes. So just, just remember that. Uh, sh- but it's actually per short rest. Oh, is it per short yes, rest? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. You can have a you can have a quick twenty minute chill out and then uh, I'll have a after all the killing you know, all that killing just really makes on. you tired. So let's <laughs> have a sit down. <laughs> All of this blood that's spraying everywhere yeah. is going on to Keth. So he's soaked and in it and then vanishing. <laughs> yep, yep. Keth, like uh, you're demon. action surging, so you don't have any more bonus Crazy. attacks. So you can't do any offhand attacks, but you can shoot twice if you'd like. <laughs> yes, I can. That's pretty handy. I do like the moneymaker. And for the sake of speed, I'd like you to roll all four of those rolls now. Okay, fine. Because right. they're all at advantage. They're all at advantage. <laughs> So roll two twice. <gasps> I got a natural twenty in my last one. Nice. Hey, double nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> what was the first set of two though? <laughs> But nine the... and a nineteen. <coughs> got a nine nineteen out. also hits, funnily enough, because that's plus eleven, so that's <sighs> thirty. Um... Oh my god! <laughs> right, okay, we need to work this out. So I get plus eleven. So I actually got. 30 on the first. Yeah, and a natural 20, which is somehow better than a 30. Um, I know. (laughs) Right. So Do some damage then. Okay, so then leaning, he's going to, with the first hit, he's going to lean over to his right. I only gave these fuckers 12 hit points. (laughs) And... Just get more than 12, Kev. Just get more than 12 with their insta-kills. Go on. (laughs) Oh, oh. Th- Keth, oh. I think this is the best thing that you've ever done. But I don't. Also... I got ten on my first one. It's a ten on your first one. Um, is he so dead? On a, on, he's not, unfortunately. But he's only got. Um, but he does take a heavy shot. He's very, very bad off. He's collapsed and is sort of crawling along the deck now in pain, um, desperately trying to retrieve the weapon that you shot out of his hand. <sighs> That's fine. I'll finish him later. And um, the other one. The other one. Now, are you going to shoot this one again, bearing in mind you're doing double damage? No, no, I want a fresh I want a fresh one. So that's four. That's two. Twenty points of damage because it's double damage on the on the last person. Um yeah, so what are you doing then? Who are you shooting? Another one or that one? Another one. A fresh one. <laughs> At this one. point, does it matter? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you you just erase another another salesman. He just um, wipes. Can him from you roll existence. me two more DC checks? <laughs> uh yeah, sure. And nobody has noticed. <laughs> no one there's a thing. That's a ten and a six. Nobody has heard a single shot. Nope. <laughs> There's a lot of noise going on, and you're firing with a suppressor and a, and a battle full of people firing uh, without one. Yep. <laughs> the chaos of war. Um, where's uh, uh, and my axe is hidden, um, and there are three and a half dead pirates. 
Yeah, um, I guess the only thing left to do for your turn right now is to roll initiative against the one pirate you didn't kill. <laughs> okay. And this is where he goes first again and just massacres it. I got a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 10 plus 2. Oh, <laughs> um, just on the way back to the captain's cabin, do you perhaps want to, like, you know, burn a village to the ground or something? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just walk um, up to him and punch him in the face? And and why don't yeah, you go first? Get you the cannon and point it at the deck of the ship and just go. <laughs> what, like Sink out of it. Jedi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keth, let, let's finish this off. Um, yeah, are you, I'm going to oh, punch him in the face. Two, you want to have like three more attacks? <laughs> <laughs> this is a proper rampage. Oh, come on, it's yep. It. Keth. Um, could you spring. please uh, roll three more attacks at advantage? Because <laughs> it's your go first. Oh god! Well, three more attacks at advantage. Yeah. So six rolls. Two, two at the, so the first the... one and the third one with modifiers. So what's your first two? Okay. <laughs> um, the first one was a seven. The I roll really badly. Because I'm rolling to hit with it, all this. This is just to punch him in the face, right? Well, I mean, if you uh, if you just want just roll, to, yeah, okay, just roll to hit the first one then. At advantage, that's fine. So gonna, I'm gonna. This is against three more pirates. Well, you you now have three more attacks because it's your go first, but you're only in combat with this one. So I mean, you can <laughs> overkill it if you like. Just roll to hit. Roll to hit. Fine. Roll to hit I've... at advantage because you're still invisible. Right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 17 with an unarmed strike. Yeah, that hits. Plus five. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, and then three. Three bludgeons. Uh, to his already wounded face. Ten. Yeah, you, you crack his skull. And Do I punch him to death? Yeah. yeah, you crack his skull and he's still moving. <laughs> Does he blip out of existence for a second? Because I've uh, punched him. No, because you're not holding him up. Yeah. You're not holding him. Yeah, you're not holding him. Oh, right. I mean, if I you want to was... pick him up and throw him overboard, he will technically vanish, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you grabbed him by the thing and then picked him up to punch him down, that he would have disappeared as you potentially... Yeah, and then blipped back into existence when you let go, yeah. But with a flattened head. Oh, I thought just, just as my fist connected with his face, he would just disappear no, no. for a flash. <laughs> not quite that well. Um... Okay, inside the captain's cabin, Malrus <laughs> and Derek. Um, that was wonderful. Thank you for all being here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to the safe. And what, what are we doing? Um, <clears throat> well, I'm going to just, just do a quick TC. Okay. <laughs> Please. I've um, got Bob. We can just put, bag up the safe. We need bag to, up the safe we need and to go. Know, yeah, but if, what if the thing's not in the safe? We need to yeah, know true. the thing's in the safe. Very well, true. We, safe. we should look. Somewhere else. Let me work on getting this open. Kev, everything all right out there, mate? <sighs> oh, it's going brilliantly. It's fine. He sounds like he's having fun. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? 19 That's total. what Kev thinks he says, but he actually says, Rah! <laughs> <laughs> He's just roaring. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> um, uh, 19 total. Loud noises. <laughs> I'm going to check, whilst Derek is doing that, the captain's drawers on the desk. Uh, Ooh, okay. Rifling through another man's drawers. Roll investigation. Have, a, have okay. a rummage. I would like to inspect inside the drinks globe in case he stored it there. And that is a seventeen. Uh, with a seventeen, you find a you find a uh, a pair of compasses. You find some rather nice stationery. You find a small square of parchment with a bit of a sticky edge along one sort of end of it. Um, and it's got the it's got written in very fancy calligraphy. Uh, it's got the message uh, safe code one two three four. <laughs> How amazing! Amazing, <laughs> Derek. Derek, yeah. I think I've got the safe code. What is it? Oh, I bet it's something stupid like four three two one or something like that. No, no, no. It says one two three four. Oh, you never guess that, mate. That's yeah, amazing. That's the same code I have on my luggage. <laughs> <laughs> That's my pin number. Oh wait. <laughs> do you want to do you want to try putting that in? Yeah, go on then. Um I'm just I did a 19 trap check. I assume no. Yeah, traps. you can't see any. Cool. Traps. Um 1 2 3 4. Uh you put that in and you hear a click and the safe is open. Wicked, <gasps> this 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 was too easy. Chaps. Yeah, it, it feels it. Um what what's inside? Uh there's a few bags of gold. 
the spare spare captain. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's an inflated dead one. now, unfortunately. He's been left in there for weeks. Um, uh, and a and a small metallic cylinder with a sort of floating device on it. There it is. There it is, Derek. Pick it up. Um, can you put it in Bob, please? I don't yeah. trust that shit. As as Derek's just taking all of the gold that's in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you you get approximately one hundred and twenty five gold pieces. Good. Um, I'm going to... But they are in bags that say, for the children. Yeah, that's fine. I'll <laughs> give them to the children. <laughs> I will... What else am I going to do with it? <laughs> give it to adults. <laughs> they don't know how to spend money. That's why I nick it off them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we doing, Mauro? Are you putting it in Bob? Uh, Bob? No. Bob. Seems we're... so I, I only mm. asked for Bob, basically, just in case we had to put the safe in there. So... Okay. I, I'm just going to hold on to the thing and put, put it, in it in my bag. In my bag, that's not going to kill us. Okay, okay. wicked. Because you know, Bob's that's a your dick. prerogative, Captain. Mm. Is there any other valuables in here? Can I have a look for them? I don't know, I mean, but yeah, probably the room's got a, a number of sort of. You know, your your initial investigation check sort of mm. highlighted a number of sort of reasonably valuable things. Nothing. It's not like there's diamonds and jewels. No, of course, yeah. But, it's expensive furniture. There's nice things there. Should we, you know, should we just find Keth and get back to the death? Um, the expensive think, furniture. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. I'm going to put the wizard sleeve down um, nice. on, the, on one of the walls. Uh, or yep. Actually, on the floor. It's just going to be easier. Um, and I'm just going to yep. drop all of the expensive furniture into it. I'll help him do that. This will come in handy later for one of yeah, our you brawls. Spend about ten minutes just shoveling furniture through the front door of the death. I wonder what Keth's and the doing. Drinks there. globe. <laughs> Drinks globe as well. Oh, wicked! In. Yeah, no, no, that that can't get smashed though. You push the drinks globe through, but because there's sort of a ninety degree turn, you just hear a lot of smashing oh, as fuck. it tips through. <laughs> I forgot oh. about the ninety degree turn. Um, so that room's now empty. There's nothing like all the oh, paintings. Tell you everything. what, Mal, Russ, give me. <laughs> it's hand- like moving day. You know, there's there's sort of faded patches yes. where some of the art was on yes. the walls. <laughs> Give me a hand with this safe, will you? Um, you can see impressions in the carpet where the desk <laughs> used to be. Um, I'd like to take the safe as well. Uh, yeah, 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 why yeah, not? Okay. We know the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are yeah, brilliant. Sure. Well, I'm going to change it, obviously. But... Yeah, sure. Yeah, you clear out this room of all the furniture. It takes you about 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> While Keth is... <laughs> Keth outside on a killing dick. Just here and go, um, hit, hit outside. Have what a makes the grass time. grow? Blood, blood, blood! Jeff, Jeff's going <laughs> to grab the stone of fast speech just as the last few things are getting shoved into the, uh, the, de- into the thing. And just go, Keth... Um, I think we're all pretty much literally all wrapped up in here, so um, we're going <laughs> to yep. come out to you, and we're just going to get back to the end of the ship, jump back onto the Valkyrie, and f off. Can we're I coming. take the light? Die, you imperial bastard! Sixty-one. If you could talk, 62. clear the area. <laughs> Sixty-three. <laughs> we're, uh, we're coming out. What? See you in a sec, Derek. The door's locked. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I think I left the key in the wizard's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it one of them drawers? I, uh, I bet. I'm just going to try. I'll just unlock the door. Uh, you unlock the door and you step out onto the deck. And uh, ahead it's of you, just you see soaked small, with blood. You see like a smear of blood and <laughs> headless bodies um, s- sprinkled with loads of gold coins. <laughs> Keth, you've been having a whale of a time. Fuck? Mm. Um, and the, the other pirates of the Teldath are still engaged in a, a riotous battle going on. Um, and as you're standing there thinking, what the fuck do we do now? How do we, you know, where are we going? Um, something very surprising happens. And I say it's very surprising. I'd love um, it if that was just the cliffhanger. Yeah, I <laughs> no. thought that was going to be it then. <laughs> no, no. You see, what happens, boys, is uh, a figure you recognize, uh, well, some of you recognize, um, bursts forth from the lower decks. And I don't mean comes up the stairs. I mean through the lower deck um, with a splintering and a yelling of people and wood uh, a huge huh. metallic figure oh, fuck. missing an arm wielding a gigantic sword with fiery red eyes oh, it turns to face Jeff and staring down at you yells in its strange Voice. Liar. Oh. Oh no! Fuck. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's back. 
Fuck. Please excuse me, vocal change. This weekend was quite gory. But let me break from screaming at crew to sum up this part of our story. A victory celebrated. They board the ship eventually. Not before Jeff helps out the team by using invisibility. They conger on the deck, and Keth steals a hat. The door was always unlocked, well, who'd have guessed that? Derek tries the safe, and Maurus finds the code. They get the prize thereafter, then strip the place down to the bone. Outside on deck, the battle still rages. Blowing up Empire heads, Keth brutally rampages. Who is this mighty behemoth that's calling Jeff a liar? Well, I guess you'll find out next time on Roll Britannia. Welcome to the Badlands. Four prisoners set sail on dicey waters, threatened by the sea. We're gonna have to get a new boat. By the beasts. How big are these birds? We need to run now. And by each other. I don't know why they would want to put me in jail. Because you sunk one of their ships. They don't know that. Join Cult, Locke, Edmund, and Maeve on a journey full of magic, tragedy, and laughter in a podcast adventure like no other. Listen to Dice Populi on Spotify or at DicePopuli.com. Sports Social Podcast Network. This morning in the Atlanta airport, no one's missing a meal on Mac Wilburn's watch. With 11 restaurants to serve passengers, he's got dining for every destination. And it all started when Mac talked with First Horizon Bank about opening a franchise in the airport. Now it's open for business and cleared for takeoff. First Horizon Bank. Let's find a way. Go to firsthorizon.com slash Mac. First Horizon Bank, member FDIC.